Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying another salmon tube for you, this is just a wee conehead D sheep or a variation very simple fly um, but well worth sticking in your box obviously you can tie them in different sizes as always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for any that would like to support the channel uh, get access to members only content and uh, be eligible for giveaways and also there will be an Amazon link there if you would like to support me in that way by bookmarking my Amazon link and using that for your Amazon shopping that would really help me cover the cost of the channel and stuff so I've got my tubes on and in the vise on the pin, I should say. I've run on some black thread. Got up a wee tag of uh, Opal Mirage. Lovely stuff. And before I wind it, I'm just going to put a wee bit of super glue. You can see that I'm winding it back onto the tube um, so the black thread doesn't show through basically over the super glue. And I'll come back up and it'll catch any that's squeezed through the, the wraps there as I've been winding it. I'll just take away any excess. Cut that away. The rib, um, I'm going to put on his oval silver tinsel, although you could probably leave it out if you wanted. Catch it in. Tie that off nice and secure. Then I'll get my body, which is just going to be iced up. Good amount. I'm going to brush the dubbing so I always like to put more on than it looks like you need. Um, you'll see what I mean. So, back to the tag, tighten that up and build a wee fat body there. I actually want a wee bit more dubbing, believe it or not. I noticed the underside's a bit sparse. There we go, that's better. And then I'll take my rib up, just come up a full turn at the back, and four up to here. Now, at this point, I'm a, um, just to give you an idea where you should be, the, the end of the dubbing, like that final wrapper tinsel, is where the taper cut starts, more or less. So, um, this bit's the, small, the, mic, the extra small tubing, and I've still got the medium tubing at the bottom. Right, um, which is going to help this, it's just to give you an idea of where the, the positioning is. The medium tubing is what sets the length of the fly really. You want your fly to be twice, at least twice the length, but I kind of tend to go for twice being like the sort of measure. And that puts the hook nicely in the middle of the fly which is what you want for salmon. Um, you know, they're going to probably hit across the fly. Whereas if it's sea trout, for example, they're going to probably be coming from the back, so you might want to have a, a sort of longer tube. So, hackle. Oh, sorry, wings. <laughs> First wing is... Um, 
Arctic Fox in yellow. You can use any here. You could use a, in this size of fly. You could use Arctic Runner as well. Or, I don't know. I mean, maybe even Rabbit for the first one if it was quite long. Um, take away the really long and stiffer guard hairs. I'm going to comb the wing. It spreads it nice. Gives you a nice bunch of hair. And then I'll take any rubbish at the bottom. Oh, a nice wee sort of tapery wing. I want this. So as I say, the the fly's got to be twice the length of the medium tubing. So. You measure that there, that's the yellow. This is the shortest wing, the heavy wing. And it's nearly twice the length of the tube, right? Not quite, but nearly. So catch that in a couple of turns and spread it. What I want is quite a wide, a wide wing across the back. I mean, it'll pull in when it's uh, the currents on it. Just get the pressure of the water. It'll pull into that teardrop and make it swim. But the width gives something to look at from below, with the way a fish will look at it, and also um, it helps you build that taper, which makes the fly swim really well. Time for a wee bit of flash. Just got to use some angel hair from Sibai. And I'm just using plain pearl. Um, fly this colour, this yellow. Pearl's just fine. Um, it blends in very well. I mean, you could add silver, might be nice as well, but I'm happy with this. So I'm just spreading the angel hair. Just the same. I've got a couple of really long fibres there that I'm going to take away. Make sure everything's going back. Um, and then I'll get my black fox. Slightly lighter wing this time. Again, just clean it out. Make it a good brushing, and then I'll take away any excessively long hair. And I'll let that be a wee bit longer, so that when it's over the top. See, it just extends beyond, and that takes the overall fly tail at twice the tube length. Just catch that in. And I'm tying the wing right on top. I'm not going forward. Right, the tie-in point's exactly on top of the wing before. I'm spreading it a wee bit over the top there. You might, if you want, you could put a bit more black in. It's up to you. Cut my way away my waist. Got a wee couple of fibres there that I don't like. So make sure they're gone. Now the wings, the wings tied. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of super glue in my thread. And come into the back there and just get that into the very tips of the butts and that and it'll just adds a bit of durability, a wee bit of security. I mean they're well tied in but it doesn't do any harm. 
hackle. I'm just using a quite a webby uh, Chinese cock hackle. You could use a blue soft hackle if you like, but this is this is soft enough for my purposes here. And I've tied it with a good side face of me, and it's quite long. So I'm just, right, you can see the other fibers are it's the long on this fly, which I like. I want the I want the movement for the long hackle fiber, and I want that blue to be quite distinct. You know, I want it to be. I'm going to try to hide the blue. Come across my thread. Fold that back, I think. Doesn't want to break. Which is fine. Good strong hackle. Just trim it away. Now you could leave the fly like this um, and just put the cone head on and it would be fine I think uh, but I'm going to stick some jungle cock eyes on it because as we all know they're absolutely essential and I'm going to salmon will never eat it. Um, two equally sized feathers not bad. I'm going to tie them in one at a time. So, I'm going to have these coming sort of to the back of the body. But the, the, the main part of the dubbing. I tie it on my side first and I just ro rotate the vise. Same on the opposite side. Just check them. No, I want that feather to be dropped a wee bit, so I'll just adjust it. Look at them for the front. Put them together to see for the top, and they're fine. So, a couple of extra turns just to hold them. Fold back the, the stems. Now, just moisten everything. Get it out of the way. I just finish the fly with some super glue. You don't need much, just two or three wraps. It's enough to hold it. Trim that away. Just touch it, take away the excess. I'll just nip away these. Uh, jungle cock stems that's the fly tied one of that basically you can as I say you can leave it like this you could put a wee disc on it or whatever I'm just sticking a cone just get it on then Another drop glue on the cone and on the thread there, and I'll force that cone back on it. Right, so that's it. All that remains to be done is to permanently fix the cone. I've just got to trim. The tube, so I've got about a millimetre left. Put it back on the needle. And I just like to hold everything out the way. Just melt back a wee bar. 
there you go. A wee de shrimp, de sheep, sorry. Nice wee hair wing salmon fly. Plenty of movement in it. Good choice for your box, tie them big, tie them small, however you like them. Hope that was good, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.